The concept of time has been intertwined with human existence since the dawn of civilization. Our ancestors rely on nature's cues like the rising and setting of the sun and the phases of the moon, developed primitive calendars to track the passing of days, months, and years. In the ancient world, civilizations such as the Egyptians and Mesopotamians began crafting rudimentary calendars, mainly lunar-based, to coordinate agricultural activities and religious observances. These early calendars were inherently flawed as they didn't precisely align with the solar year. However, it was the ancient Egyptians who first introduced a more structured and efficient calendar known as the Egyptian calendar around 2700 BC. This calendar was a leap forward as it was solar-based consisting of 365 days divided into 12 months of 30 days each, with an additional five-day festival at the end. This system was a monumental step in the human understanding of time and marked the birth of chronological precision. Fast forward to ancient Rome, and we encounter the Julian calendar, instituted by Julius Caesar in 45 BC. This calendar introduced leap years, with an extra day added to February every four years thus making it more closely aligned with the solar year. The Julian calendar became the standard in the Western world for centuries, even though it was still not entirely accurate. It wasn't until the 16th century when Pope Gregory XIII introduced the Gregorian calendar, which we use today to correct the discrepancies in the Julian calendar. The Gregorian calendar refined the leap year system, ensuring a more accurate alignment with the solar year. It was widely adopted across the Catholic world and eventually by most of the world's nations. However, the development of calendars didn't stop with the Gregorian reform. In the modern age, we've seen various calendar systems emerge. The Islamic calendar, based on lunar months, is still used for religious purposes, while the Hebrew calendar combines lunar and solar aspects. The Chinese calendar, with its animal zodiac signs and elements, is an integral part of Chinese culture. Moreover, in recent history, the advent of digital technology has revolutionized our perception of time. Atomic clocks, relying on the vibrations of atoms, provide unprecedented accuracy, and the definition of the second itself has evolved to be based on these atomic standards. Coordinated Universal Time, UTC, now governs our world, ensuring synchronization across global timekeeping systems. Well, a bonus piece of information for those who are still with us. Our modern clocks are incredibly precise thanks to atomic technology. However, the Earth's rotation isn't always as consistent as we might think. Due to various factors like gravitational forces from the moon and geological events, the Earth's rotation can vary slightly over time. To keep our precise atomic clocks in sync with Earth's natural rhythms, Scientists occasionally introduce what's called a leap second into our timekeeping. This means that for a brief moment, our clocks gain an extra second. It's a necessary adjustment to ensure that our highly accurate clocks match the ever so slightly changing speed at which the Earth rotates.